this device, this is the little hub or dongle, whatever you want to call it. I call it a dongle, but they call it a hub. So this is it. This costs about £30. And what it does, it allows you to control your curtains anywhere in the world. Literally anywhere in the world, providing you've got internet access, of course. It has a little reset button there if you need to reset it for any reason. But the idea behind it is, you know, you're on holiday. Oh, it's night time at home. I want to close my curtains. This will allow you to do it. You can say, close my curtains. And it will just close them. Like I said, providing you've got internet. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how easy it is to connect it to your network. And it is very easy to do. I was surprised how easy it was to do. It's probably one of the easiest devices I've had to use to connect anything. It just works brilliantly. It's a piece of cake. It is falling. So, right, so with that, let's get on with it, shall we? So first things first, you will need the app. I'm going to close this and show you. It's called the Toya. Or Toya, yeah? And I've already got my curtains set up on it. So you will need to install the software. Toya, just go to the App Store, type that word in, and you should find it quite easy. Download that, set it all up, go through the usual stuff. And then all you have to do is make sure your your router is set for 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi only and turn off the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi because it it might not connect. To be on the safe side, that's what you need to do. It's quite easy to do, but I'm not going to do a tutorial on that. Let me know in the comments if you need a tutorial on that. <laughs> but there's quite a few out there already, so I shouldn't need to do it. So set it 2.4. Once you've done it, once you've connected this to it, you can turn on 5 gigahertz as well, as well as 2.4, okay? I want to get that out of the way. So, you will need a power source. I am using a USB male to female connection just for this tutorial, but you can plug it into a plug that has USB as well. So I'm just going to use this, and you plug it in. Now then, you should get a flashing light. Now, if you don't, it's because you need to reset it. So you do that by holding that little button in on the side. You hold it in for about five or six seconds. It shouldn't take long. And then just release it and it should be fine after that. So it's gone off, so it should be reset now. So it should start flashing. There you go. So it's flashing slowly. So look, it's already found it. <laughs> but we're not gonna do that. Come on, we're gonna come out of there. Cause we wanna do it manually. Cause I need to show you how to do it. So you hit the plus button on the software, the tool here, and I know, I know you found me. <laughs> I want to look for it myself. And then you go down to Gateway Controller, and you want Wireless Gateway Zigbee, this little baby here, and, and you need to put in your router Wi-Fi connection details and all that, which I'm covering over with my fingers, and then press Next. So that's done. Confirm the indicator is blinking rapidly. Well, slowly. But confirm it. Blinking slowly. Blah, blah, blah. Or just spat. Sorry about that. Add device. Click on plus. Being added. Give it a few seconds. It literally takes a few seconds. Literally. And that is it. Job done. It was that easy to do. Yeah, it's really easy. Now then. Right, devices. Go to devices then. Device manager. And there it is. Job done. That is it. It's all you have to do. Don't have to do no more. That is it. It's just set it up. Once it's set up, that is it. So now you can ask Alexa or, or Google. Oh, it's, it's, oh God, go away. That is it. You can ask them to open or close your curtains and it should just work brilliantly. Yeah, very easy to do. Well impressed of how easy it was to do. And yeah, definitely gets my thumbs up. So uh, for the 30 pan, I know it's not cheap, but if you're paying out, you know, about 200 pounds for a set of curtains that are automatic and you need this, you might as well pay the extra 30 quid and you can, you know, you can be anywhere opening and closing your curtains. Yeah, job done. So with that, let me know in the comments what you think, whether you think about buying one or not. And uh, yeah, consider subscribing. It doesn't cost any money. And you never know, 
you might find some more useful information. Thanks very much for watching.